Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a story cube worksheet using one of Storyboard that's pre-made templates. So what is a story cube? Now this is something that we are going to design that when you're done you can print out, cut out, fold, and create into a three-dimensional shape. So let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a template that we like. Now we have a whole bunch of great templates and a lot of really fun shapes, but I think I'm going to go with this nice cube one that has a pizza. So all we have to do is click the copy template button that's right below. And this brings us directly into the storyboard creator, which then will prompt us to give our template a name. Now you can call yours whatever you would like. I'm just gonna call mine template one, and then we click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize this cube. This is where we get to add any characters, images, update the text, change colors, whatever it is that we would like to do. So to get started, I am going to make this about pizza. And I think what I want to do is have different amounts of pizza on each one of these sides, and then maybe have a character and maybe a restaurant that sells pizza. So let's get some different sized pizzas. If we select this image here, and if you look in your right hand menu, you'll see this button that says image options. If you select this, you will see we have a lot of different poses for our pizza item and we have different quantities. We have a whole half quarter and an eighth or a single slice. So let's make, the different quantities, these four here. So we'll start with a whole pizza, click update image, and there we go. Now let's duplicate this a few times. Just go over to your right hand menu and click copy. And let's do that two more times. And now we have our four pizza items. So let's move the first one over here, go to image option, and let's make this a half. There we go, we'll move this one over here. We're gonna make this a quarter. Image option, select the quarter, give it an update image. And then lastly, one eighth or a single slice. And one eighth, click update image. Now, if you notice, there's a little text that says click to edit. Now our template is uh, basically a text box that we can update with different text that we want to. Now, I don't really need to have text in this part and we'll get to how to make, how to edit text boxes a little bit later. So one way to get rid of these boxes is just simply select your item, click on where the text is, and just click the space bar a few times. And this will just leave a few spaces so that way you don't see the click to edit text there. All right, let's move our pizza slice back. All right, now next is characters. Now I would like to add somebody who's really excited to eat pizza. So let's go up to our characters menu. Let's go into kids. And I'm gonna find somebody who looks like my kid who absolutely loves pizza and make them really excited. So let's grab this character. All you have to do is drag and drop into your storyboard. And now we get to customize them. This is where we get to update facial expressions, poses, change colors, anything that we want to do. Now, when your character is all set, just click update pose and there's our character. Now we can move them anywhere we want in the storyboard as just like our, our pizza slices here. And we can also resize them. All we have to do is drag the corner of the image. And there we go. Let's make it pretty big. Let's move this character down. Now, if you notice, their feet are just outside this top box. So let's crop. If you go into your right hand menu, we can select crop. And in standard crop, we can just move this box up. Now we have this nice transparency so I can see the template right behind them, which is very helpful. When you're all done, just click OK. And there's our character cropped in space. Now last, we're gonna put in a scene right here. So if we go up to our scenes, and if we go under entertainment, we should be able to find a uh, restaurant that works. All right, now this one right here looks like they sell pizza. So all we have to do, just like our character, drag and drop. And let's reposition this and fit it into our story cube template. All right, it's a little long, so let's line it up and we're gonna crop this one as well. Just go over to crop and we're gonna trim off this right hand side of it. There we go and click okay. Now, if you wanted to add a scene or a pattern or a color uh, that fills the entire frame, all you have to do is go over to patterns or any one of these other car um, these categories and just drag and drop anything that you like and click stretch to fill. Now this gives you options on how to fill their frame. 
I'm going to go with non-proportional so it fills the entire space. I'll click OK. Now that we have this scene in place, we're going to send it all the way to the back. And that's how you would add a nice color to fill that entire space. But since the goal is to print this out, I don't want to waste printer ink, so let's delete this. Just select your item and delete. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes as you saw us do, but let's put in our own words. So we have this title right here. Let's select this and let's call this pizza dice. There we go. Now, I think that looks good, but I'd like to change the font and make it much, much bigger. So to do that, just highlight what you wanna change. Let's go over to our text editor and let's go with a nice big bold font. That looks pretty good. And let's make this very big. Let's try 76. All right, that looks perfect. Now, just like our characters and our scenes or any of our items, you can move text boxes anywhere you would like as well as resize them. So let's move this header right here to give space for our title. And there we go. Now, when you're all done with your edits to your template, all you have to do is click the orange save and exit button that's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a story cube using Storyboard That. All right, thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.